Hi, I'm Ree from mummyafour.com. Welcome back to my channel. We've got another little vlog for you today. We're doing some homeschool. Zara would like to show you a jewelry box that she actually decorated that herself, didn't you? Clever girl. So during this vlog, we have got lots to do and we've got a few updates for you. I've got some updates about my channel and some kind of feedback actually I'd like from you guys for sort of which direction I'm taking that. I've got some updates with what I'm doing work wise as well as updates about school because a lot of that stuff has changed <laughs> and a few uh, new bits and pieces that I've discovered I want to share with you too. We've got homeschool, we've got a bit of playing to do. What do you want to do today? Okay, so Zara's not sure what she wants to do today, but I'm sure we'll have lots of the. Oh, what? I know what? What? What do you want to do? Playing in my room. You want to play in your room? Okay, I'm sure we can fit a bit of that in too. Lala. But before we go into homeschool, we have something to say. If you're new here, Lala. welcome. Please. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we post more. Videos every Tuesday, Saturday. No! Friday. No. No. Wednesday, Try again. Every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. If you go downstairs, we have put a little bit of cream on Zara's face, haven't we? What happened to your face? What happened to your face? I want to tell me. You don't want to tell me? Shall I explain to everybody? Zara's face gets a little bit dry, doesn't it? Just like my face. My face is so terribly dry. If I get out of the shower and I don't put moisturizer on, it's like my skin is peeling off. But your face gets a bit dry as well. What happens when your skin gets dry? What do you do to it? Pick it and... And lick it, don't you? I know, and then it goes all yucky. And then it's sore, isn't it? So we have put cream on. Did you like having cream on? No. That's a no, isn't it? You don't like cream. But it will make your face better, won't it? No, but I don't like white cream. I know, you don't have to have white cream. That's the one the doctor gave you, though, isn't it? For when it gets sore. Yeah. Right, come on then. Guys, time for homeschool. Right, time to go down for homeschool, guys. Alexa, turn dressing table off. Come on, you ready for homeschool? Well, we, we can open the blinds, please. No, you want to open your jewellery box, you? What's Bunny doing? Bunny trying to open the jewellery box. That's a silly bunny. Oh, well, does she want to wear the jewellery? No, yeah. Does she? That's very nice. We are now in the office. I'm going to get the children set up for their homeschool tasks and then I will chat to you about what is going on with schools um, in yeah. Wales, but also specifically with us because it's varying so much from school to school, isn't it? Right, Bella, you have got to make a nature art frame. Okay, we'll work on that. Um, and then there's also this activity to do. Did you want to start with your nature art activity? Or this one, listen, the other one to do that you need to do, that perhaps you should do this one first because you probably won't need as much help as one. I can um, get on with it. With a little bit of work because I've got quite a lot to do today. But. Bella's been given this work from the school, we have to print it out. Um, you've got to cut out all these different that foods. That is not healthy. That's right. And then you've got to decide if they are a mixture of both, or healthy foods, or unhealthy foods. Can you do that for mummy? So cut out all the foods, and then we're going to decide where they belong. Healthy, unhealthy. Right, I will help you. Listen, cut out all of those foods for mummy. And then we'll decide where they go and we'll stick them on the page. Zara is just arranging jewels into a box. She, we, I am doing activities with Zara, but it's not like, you know, she'd only be in Rising Three's nursery, so she wouldn't be doing official schooling, academia yet, anyway. So, we you know, we're pretty, it's more just about keeping you busy, isn't it? Keeping you busy, working on your phonics and things like that. William, what have you got to do, my darling? I've got 
this, but I need a pin for. Right, I've ordered those from Amazon. They're coming later. They're those little funny split pin things to go in the middle when you make a clock with the children. I literally don't know what else you ever use them for Mommy, other than making paper clocks for children. But they're coming later. Yes, what else, darling? What well, else do you need to do? Well, the other thing, I, I've got telling time day two, but I need the clock and finish day one before I can do that. Right. Well, in that case, you've also got to do no. math seeds for your mental maths. So you work on math seeds while I would do this with that. Oh, that was from yesterday. It's okay. That was Connor the Caterpillar from ma measuring maths yesterday. There we go. You do your math seeds because you have to do that for um, school. Now, I just want to have a quick chat with you guys about about schools and things. Schools. Um, when I last updated you, we had, yes. Wales had been invited yes. back to school from next yeah. week, and it was gonna be a third of the school at the time. Mm. What that was gonna look like for us, for our children, was going to be one day a week for two out of my four children, because my teenager has finished, Mama, he's done his Mama, GCSEs, even though that didn't can happen. I, can I do a work? Mum, can I do the thing that we said yesterday? Yes, yesterday. you can finish that activity you were doing yesterday. Just cut out the caterpillars for Mummy and I'll come and help you stick them down, okay? I already did. Did you? In that case, you can get the glue and stick them down. Good to go. Right, what was the thing? I'm just going to talk about yeah, I don't know no, if So what this is going to look like for our children, my teenager has finished Mama. school, even though he's going back to uh, oh. sixth form. He's finished his GCSE, so he wouldn't be going back to school anyway. They were never inviting Rising Threes back as part of this return to school thing because they didn't have the staffing for it. So it was only going to be the middle two, and it was going to be one day a week, and it was going to be for three weeks. And then the, the Welsh Assembly had extended the term for an additional week, so they were going to have three weeks of lessons and then one week of moving up to the next class. And then it kind of all changed again, as everything is doing all the time at the moment. And then what happens they decided they weren't going to be inviting reception back either which is Bella's year which is the school year in which they turn five which is really random because in England it's reception and year one were the important years that they did have back so nursery and reception were not going back so what that was actually going to look like was just one of my child's children was going to go back for one day a week for four weeks and then they announced that the last week was going to be scrapped so what it was actually going to look like was one of my children was going back for two weeks of tuition one day a week and then one day moving up so i'm really glad that we'd already made the decision not to send them back because i know especially since two of them have asd it would have been a really difficult transition i would have really prepared them for going back and then then one of them wouldn't have been and that would have been really really complicated that's the, that's the situation we're in so i'm glad we made that decision i feel like it's right for our family and um, if the, all the children are able to go back to school in September, I would really like them to. And even if there is one day a week, I feel that that will have value. Um, I know even if it's one day a week, then I'm going to still have to do a lot of the homeschooling. But I feel like if it's continuing on, I think half of my objection to it was the fact it was just going to be a couple of days and then it was all stopping. If it was carrying on through the summer, so if in September it starts and then it carries on, if, that, if school looks like one day a week, then that's that's how it's going to be and last i heard from the welsh assembly then it was that's sort of how it was going to look sort of it was going to look like this third of the school at a time even in Mama september then we listen to what boris is saying in england and it looks like they're almost looking at scrapping social distancing and getting all of the school back in september and does that mean full time i don't even know i just feel like it's changing so much and then we get all this really official sounding information which doesn't really apply to us because it's from England and oh, I don't know, I just don't know how, how it's going to kind of look. And I also don't know how us, the schools are going to prepare for it because obviously the decision is going to be made closer to September but then there's no staff in school prior to September to make all the arrangements. I mean how are they going to do classes for next year when they don't know how many children can be in and I don't know makes my head hurt anyway the amount of like head work it must be for the schools to get it all right and organized fries my brain are your children going back to school um, or are they already back in school are they happy i hope they are i mean i really wish mine could be back i just feel that with the what we were given to work with and it's absolutely not the school's fault i adore my children's school the staff are amazing and i can't wait for them to be back but it needs to be back in a way that can kind of 
offer an element of continuity and carrying on and reality, new normal at least. Well, right, so I'm hoping by September, which does feel like a very long way away, doesn't it? I'm hoping the country will know more. I'm hoping the schools will know more. I'm hoping I will know more. Anyway, so that's our kind of school update. I'm going to do a little bit of work okay. now, Mama, and then I'm going to give you a little bit of update. What I'm doing, I'm channel wise, yeah. work wise. Right, outdoor play break, guys. Can we get shoes on? We're going to do some sun cream, and who would like a snack? Me. The snack. The children have got some carrot sticks. Some of these mini bread sticks that I picked up in my last Sainsbury's haul, and a dollop of hummus, which is this. One that I also picked up in my Sainsbury's haul. Ready for your food, guys? Done a bit more homeschool if you need a bit more help. I think they're kind of settled again though. Um, my next job is to update my a Wick With Me page. So this page is kind of aimed at anyone that wants to know a little bit more about me, see who. So there's like my YouTube channel intro and my like brands I've worked with, things like that. But really, I need to update this. This page hasn't been updated. I've got these packages on there that don't kind of go where I've like redesigned my rate card and stuff and I haven't redesigned that so I need to sort of sort that out but also now um I used to do like social media management for companies which I stopped doing I don't do that anymore where I was just taking over and running other company social media accounts now I've moved over to just doing like consultancy so I just kind of jump on a zoom call with um a, like a small business or um, sort of a, a blogger or someone that is struggling to kind of get set up and then they come to me with like where they are and then together we kind of divide for the, what their next steps need to be things like that so I need to put that on my website because at the moment that isn't offered on my website it's not something I'm going to be doing loads and loads of and it is going to be something I'm doing kind of in and around other things with just a few kind of clients um, but I am doing a few of them at the moment I am enjoying them and people are getting a lot out of it but long story short yeah. all the kind of the what I'm offering to brands and as consultancy at the yeah. moment isn't accurately represented on here because in amongst YouTube and Instagram and writing on the blog and doing all the things this has been a bit neglected so that is what I need to work on today and um, the other thing I wanted to chat about is my channel so let's have a quick look on here my YouTube channel, as you know, is kind of, um, I'd probably say it's my main focus at the moment. I am loving it. I'm loving uh, kind of getting to know you all as my audience and reading all your comments and things. And I'm loving that you're enjoying the videos, which is great. But the way I kind of decide which videos to make, I only want to make videos that you guys want to see and that YouTube will actually show people and then they'll see them, if that makes sense. So. Of all the videos I do, my grocery hauls are by far my most popular videos. YouTube shows them to lots of people, lots of people click through and they get lots of views and likes and comments and things. So clearly people quite enjoy those. I was always told when I started YouTube, no one cares about you, they only care about the information. And I always thought like tips videos and things would do better. I kind of started my whole blog, my YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff to help busy mums make their lives easier. So all the sort of hacks that I picked up over the years to get organized and things, and that's kind of always been my thing. That's kind of been my, what I'm doing and why I'm here. But it turns out now that blogs are actually doing better for me than if I do some of those tips videos, which is that. Um, so for example, I did a video about meal planning, which the people that watched it, but they loved it. So if you haven't seen my meal planning video, please go and check that out later. Um, and they said it was really helpful. I've so many DMs about it saying, oh, it's just, thank you so much. But interestingly, 
that video, which I thought would be quite searchable, you know? So as in relevant to people that didn't know me, because really you, you, you're unlikely to watch one of my vlogs unless you know me, are you? So a vlog is more for like my existing community, my people, perhaps people find me through the grocery hauls because that's a bit more searchable. Then they kind of subscribe it into my community. And then maybe I think then maybe they'll watch vlogs and I hope that that's the kind of, the grocery hauls feed into like the vlogs and things and then you guys will watch those. So I thought, right, this tips about meal planning, that's something people search for, people find me through that. And when I looked at the analytics, which is how I plan all my content, I look at the analytics, then people that were subscribed, so probably you watching this, um, they watched it and they watched it and loved it, but there weren't many people who weren't subscribed to my channel watching it. Mad, isn't it? It's all to do with this. I'd love to know if you could let me know in the comments, because this is all really, really helpful. How did you find my channel? So did you find my channel because you were searching for something? Did a video pop up and suggested? And which video was it? I'd love to know that. That's really, really interesting to me. Um, and which of types of my videos do you like? You know, oh, I've got to watch that straight away. Which ones do you not that best on? Because I've had a few other video types that I'd like, I was thinking about doing. Um, believe it or not, uh, many moons ago. I used to, as well as, because I've always done like marketing and stuff, I have a business history, but um, I'm also qualified as a fitness instructor and I used to do like dance and fitness classes. So I wondered maybe I should do some workout videos and then that would make me work out. I get so many comments about like what are you doing for your workout and all that kind of stuff. So should I do some workout videos? But then when we think about the algorithm, which is the thing that controls all of you, if someone subscribed to a, one of my fitness videos and they saw that there weren't any, many other fitness videos that saw vlogs and things, maybe someone that's looking for fitness videos isn't looking for that kind of stuff. Or maybe if you guys are here for vlogs or speed cleaning or grocery hauls, then you're not interested in fitness videos. I'm not talking about doing loads of them, but just, I don't know, maybe I should do a series of them, see how they go. Maybe I should not bother, I don't know. Or maybe I should start a whole separate channel. So there's that. Would you like to see those popping up every now and again, or just as a one-off series you could go back to and just use them like a DVD? I don't know. Just let me know your thoughts on that. Then also, the other um, thing I was thinking about is doing some videos, because I got a lot of blog posts on my blog, and I will link these below if these appeal to you, about helping with blogging, helping with setting up YouTube channel, um, and helping with kind of the social media marketing side, the stuff that I would do in those one-to-one -one Zoom calls with those clients, the kind of the stuff that feeds into that. Would videos on that be helpful? Again, I don't think they do that well on this channel, but then do I start a separate channel for that? So do I have my main channel and my social media marketing channel? And fitness, it's just getting a bit silly, isn't it? It's just getting a bit silly. <laughs> but anyway, I'd love to know um, if any of those things would appeal to you, or maybe I could put them up on this channel, put them unlisted, just so I can bear them in my blog. I'm just brain farting out right now. Um, my other questions, quite videos I've been asked to do, love to know your thoughts on. Um, reacting to my old videos, I was asked to do that months ago, and it's been kind of on my list, and I haven't done it yet. Do you want to see that? Um, I'm trying to persuade my teenager to do an interview with a teenager for his birthday and then let me vlog his birthday, working on that. Um, and if I do that, have you got any questions for him? And um, what's the other one? Oh, people want to see a get ready with me. Do you want to see that? Because that's face it, I don't want to, like, feel like I'm a beauty blogger. Because I'm not. Um, if you want to see my makeup routine and show you everything I use and everything, I'll do that video too. Right, how are we doing? Bella, that is beautiful. Can you tell me about it, darling? Can you tell me about what you're doing? What is it, sweetie? It's very beautiful. A picture. Well, I could have guessed that. And Zara, you're just finishing sticking down your caterpillars. Well done, and William's working on math. It's all going well. It's lunchtime. The children are having some ham rolls with some mini cheddars and a banana. And I find it, if I just chop, the ends of the banana like that. They can peel them really, really easily. Right, guys, who's ready for lunch? Me. Well done for helping Zara with her bib. <laughs> yes, I do still make the girls wear those, just because then when they chuck things all over themselves, they don't ruin the dresses. Um, right, who would like a green plate? Willie Wems, would no. you like a green one? Green. Not green? I like yellow, yellow. You're gonna have yellow. Zara, can you yellow. say yellow? 
Lello. Can you say blue. say yellow? Lello. Say just say Lello. yellow. Lello. I know you're having blue, but what colour is Bella's plate? Lello. You I know. Well you know how to say it properly. Lello. Just, I know. But you still say it like that, don't you? Also say sausages. Sausages. My last baby when she stopped the lisps and the lalas. I'm gonna cry. In one of my last vlogs, it might have been my What I Eat In A Day video, I was talking about the exam tea burst drinks that I have been having every day. I have one in the morning and sometimes one lunchtime, I'm gonna have one now. And I was saying that I tried the tropical, which I quite like, tried the mixed berry, which I really like, but the strawberry lime were out of stock. Anyway, I've since had this, which is a multi-pack box, which if you're gonna try them, I would recommend you try that, so then you can pick the flavor you like. And the strawberry lime, isn't it? And oh my goodness, it literally tastes like a strawberry daiquiri. So I, it's by far my favorite flavor. I have written a blog post about these drinks. Uh, you shall link it about why I like them and sort of my honest opinions of them. But a little top tip that I will share now. Um, I use the shaker because it's just, it's the easiest way to mix it up because it's a powder sachet and then you mix it in with water. I like to mix it in with water and ice and then drink it. But then when I have finished this drink, I'm refilling it with either water or squash that I buy in all my hauls to just keep hydrated. And I'm finding that it's even easier than my chili bottle because it's it's already dirty, so I may as well refill that. And I am trying to drink one of these at least four times over in a day. And I am managing, I must admit. But um, that is what I'm doing. It's keeping me hydrated. It's giving me a bit of an energy boost when I need it as well. Full disclosure, I have worked with Exanti before. I think they gifted me some of these to try as well before, but I have since repurchased them myself. And I do genuinely use them every day, which is why, as with everything, I'm kind of happy to recommend them. You know, I only really like recommending things that I genuinely use and love because quite frankly, I want you guys to trust me. <laughs> I don't want to talk about stuff I'm not fussed on. And then you'll be like, well, she's full of it, isn't she? So if I am recommending something, it's because I've given it a go and I am genuinely using it in my life. Sarah's had her nap and is now up and watching TV with my husband who has come home early because yes, he is back in work. Now I have been down the rabbit hole with this whole work with me page thing. I started thinking right okay I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit and then I realized that actually this software on this page is more complicated and I had to refigure out how to use it and then I thought okay people need to be able to book online so I like a job that was supposed to take me five ten minutes is taking me flipping hours but I'm quite pleased with it so um I will link the page below it's a page intended for brands if they want to have a think about working with me but it's also a page for people that might want to consider having the one-to-one -one sessions via zoom with me um anyway be really great if you could check that out and just let me know if I've made any typos in it really <laughs> and um, if it works and things because I've set it up with this whole online calendar scheduling thing and you just never know if you've missed a step and it all doesn't work and falls to bits but yeah I'm sure it'll be fine fingers crossed time to make dinner and it was supposed to be taco Tuesday yesterday but we had to do a bit of a switch around so we're doing taco Wednesday not quite the same range that I know but I'm also doing some fajitas because it's a similar meal as it's like Mexican isn't it um, and I figured if I do the fajitas as well then if my family who are quite fussy uh, just really do not like the tacos then they've got some food to eat as a bit of a backup. Also, if I present them with fajitas with a side of, hey, why don't we try these tacos? They're less likely to lose it than if I go, here is a brand new meal that you may or may not like. They're just far more inclined to try something new alongside something they're familiar with. Okay, massive faux pas on my part. I rejigged our Taco Tuesday because I thought, oh, I've got these rolls, I need to use that. Didn't check the date on the mince. Bear in mind, today is Wednesday. This was delivered from Sainsbury's on Monday and it went out of date yesterday. Now, I should have checked the date, so that is my fault, but I'm not very impressed with that Sainsbury's actually delivering something that goes off the following day. We did expect better. So it looks like we are having chicken tacos um, because I've got chicken here, which isn't such a massive difference, I guess. So I'm just basically doing chicken fajitas, but offering them in these. A far 
more gentle transition. I say I'm so annoyed with not checking that mint for the date. I'm normally so good at checking dates. I just assumed, this teaches you a lesson, doesn't it? Do not assume that something that has been delivered on Monday would still be good to use on Wednesday. That's what I'm saying, Chris. But anyway, I'm now gonna adapt this slightly. We're gonna have the chicken. So it's gonna be the same stuff I would do for fajitas. I will use taco seasoning to see how they like that and taco shells and still make the tortilla wrap available. So we've got our chicken, peppers, onions, and tomatoes with taco seasoning in there. Then to go with that, we've got taco shells. I've also got tortilla wraps in case that's a disaster. We've got salad to go in there. And we've also got some salsa, some guacamole, and some lovely grated cheese. And yes, the children are watching PJ Masks because it's the only way they will stay still-ish for me to make dinner. We're gonna take one of the tacos, we're gonna put some salad in the bottom, and then some of the chicken and peppers and things, and then some salsa and cheese on the top, and it's going to be yummy, isn't it? Mm. Who's excited to try tacos? Me. Oh, good. What's the verdict, Will? I haven't tried it yet. You haven't tried it. Zara, have you tried it? You're just eating cucumber. Bella, what do you think? Oh, a thumbs up from Bella, that's good stuff. What do you think, Will? Mm. Oh, a thumbs up from Will as well. Good stuff. The general consensus. What do we think of tacos? Zara, awesome. you, you didn't do well at all. Gave awesome, up another wrap, awesome, didn't you? Awesome, awesome, awesome. awesome. They awesome. are a lot messier, aren't they? Um, obviously, we didn't try it with the mints. We had it with chicken and stuff. But overall, I mean, I eat, I eat rats with a knife and fork because it drives me mad how messy they are. So the tacos were, I did, you know, we got through it, but it was, um, it was, it was just messy. It was, it was entertaining, wasn't it? So now we're about to do the school quiz, the school fundraiser quiz via Zoom, aren't we? So before we do that, we just want to say, if you like this video, Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we post more videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. Over there for latest video and down there for another video you may enjoy. Bye!